Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to match this cosine equation with one of these lovely graphs. Uh, I think our best bet will be to just sketch our own graph and then compare it to the graphs that they have here. So that's going to be my strategy. So a couple of things. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, please understand what the parent function looks like for cosine. Cosine graph uh, starts off at 1, has a high of 1 and a low of negative 1. And it starts at the high, it goes through the midline, and it ends at its high. You know what, I should be more specific than that. Um, the parent function has a period of 2 pi, which means at the halfway mark, that'll be pi. Half of that will be pi over 2. In between here, that'll be 3 pi over 2. So the cosine function goes boom, 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 like this. All right, now. This graph has a couple of modifications. Uh, I see that it has a B value right here. That is going to change the period. So uh, let's check that out. The period is always going to be 2 pi divided by the B value. So that means that the period is going to be 2 pi divided by 2. That means the period is going to be pi. So actually, let's look and see if we can eliminate some choices based on that. So, for example, if I look at one cycle of this graph, okay, there's one cycle. That's the period. And here's pi way over here. So uh, this graph clearly does not have a period of pi. This is like much shorter than that. So we can actually throw out this as one of the choices. Okay, um, what else you got? Here's one cycle of this graph. Okay, this thing has a period of 2 pi, and that is not a match. So we can throw that out, okay? We're looking for a period of pi. Okay, we're going great so far. Oh, look, this one has a period of 4 pi. Can you see? Here's one cycle of the function and that has a width of 4 pi. Uh, we need simply pi so that's not it. So this is going to be easier than I thought. So the last one must be the answer but let's verify. Here is one cycle of the graph. Uh, notice boom it does have a period of pi which is what we were searching for this whole time. All right, so we don't actually have to graph the, a whole function. We can use the process of elimination. Let's verify how smart we are. Yep, you got it. 